So when are we going to get Breath of the Wild 2 information? When and where? And how long are we going to call it Breath of the Wild 2? What is up guys, HMK here once again, and I'm still reeling from, you know, what happened with the Game Awards, or I should say what didn't happen with the Game Awards, but I'm not too mad, but, you know, we're going into 2022, the year that Breath of the Wild 2 is supposedly going to release, according to Nintendo. Are they that confident? I want to be confident in their confidence, but we'll have to see how confident their confidence is. Oh boy. But consider this little fun fact when thinking about when are we going to see more of Breath of the Wild 2. When it comes to the time compared to that of the original Breath of the Wild, when it was called Zelda Wii U, we actually took less time and we spent less time with the name Zelda Wii U into the true name of Breath of the Wild. When it was revealed in E3 2014 and it finally got its name in E3 2016, two years. Breath of the Wild 2 is actually taking longer for its subtitle, can, like, and all things considered, it's a sequel. I mean, yeah, sure, the subtitle is a spoiler, but come on, how long do we really have to wait when it comes to the true name of Breath of the Wild 2? <sighs> but, you know, we've been through the Zelda Wii together, so, I mean, it's, it's fine. That desert was, was crossed and all that stuff. But when we're going into 2022, the main pondering question is that when are we going to see more information, especially when going off of Nintendo's information and Bill Trinan when it says, oh, we, when we, you know, give more information in the coming months, he said that in June, in the coming months into next year, that's the leeway, that's, that's the amount of time is like into next year when we're going to get more information about the identity of Breath of the Wild 2. I just really don't want to wait all the way to E3 again next year, considering that a lot of people are still debating on when this game is going to come out in 2022, if it's going to come out in 2022. Because as hopeful as I am, Zelda games, as we all know, are notorious for getting delayed, especially once they get a date. Uh, Breath of the Wild 2, if it doesn't get delayed out of 2022, probably the first Zelda game in a very long time that actually hits its release year when they gave us the release year off the bat, because I mean, we didn't know it up until last year, or I should say this year, last year going into this year. Time is, time is an illusion, I, let me tell you. So I just really don't want to wait until June again to get more information, but it seems that with the caliber of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, Nintendo really wants to take, I would say, the situation and reveals into their own hands. So when pondering the idea of them potentially revealing information in an event that doesn't really beat to their sound, beat to the sound of their own drum, roll to the beat of their own drum, whatever that saying is, I really don't know if we're going to see Breath of the Wild 2 at, let's say, Game Developers Conference or anything like that, unless Nintendo decides to, you know, hit the iron when it's... I, I don't want to say hot because I mean hot is back in June, but now it's like December. So I mean like yeah, it's winter, cold, whatever. Um, unless they decide to do some sort of Nintendo Direct in January, because I really don't think there's gonna happen. There's gonna be one in December because they just announced an indie world. So I mean I guess you know they have to like spread out their information. But 2022 looks pretty hype. Besides the fact of Zelda, I mean we've got the new Kirby game, we got Bayonetta 3, we got uh, Splatoon 3, we got. A Pretty stacked card in and the rumors about Xenoblade Chronicles 3. That would be really, really cool. So Nintendo, I feel, needs to shape the identity of 2022 better than what we know going into 2022 in order to give us, the consumers, fans, as well as investors, a good idea of what's going to go down going into 2022 as soon as possible. And if they decide to do something like that and give us a little tidbit, a little tease, of uh, Breath of the Wild 2, maybe just a name or some sort of like art or something that'd be cool for Nintendo Direct in January or February in order to get the identity shaped up. And then maybe after the fact, they'll have this like you know, Breath of the Wild 2 press tour, which they did with Breath of the Wild going from event, event, event into 2022 leading up to E3, and then E3 probably will have a full release date or something like that. And then maybe holiday season that's when the game is going to be released, or maybe October, September. You know, anything before, like releasing before E3 is very, very hopeful, very hopeful. But at the same time, you know, Skyward Sword is real out of the way. Age of Calamity is done. We got the Zelda Game & Watch. And it hurts. The 35th anniversary of Zelda this year was pretty much non-existent. But then at the same time, like I said before, I'm still holding on to that small shred of hope 
that uh, a 35th anniversary may be celebrated in some way, shape, or form next year as some sort of like follow-up year to that because sometimes companies do that when uh, their plans don't get aligned up and especially what's going on with the world and the, pandem uh, the pandemic or whatnot. Uh, it could be possible that they were planning something for this year, but then, you know, I don't want to be you no know, monkey wrench into the gears of uh, <laughs> their plans. So maybe 2022, especially if they're going to coincide with Breath of the Wild 2, would make a lot of sense. Maybe a symphony, some books, I don't know, something, right? And I feel that would, you know, be better for Nintendo to, like, you know, rip off the Band-Aid and get that identity going for Breath of the Wild 2 early on in the year. I'm not saying release the game early on in the year, but, you know have us knowing what's going down because despite as lot as much as we think we know about breath of the wild 2 we actually still don't know a lot uh which is fair and at the same time it can really deal into nintendo's like current strategies when it comes to releasing games or releasing more information more close to the fact of release and then the fact is that it is breath of the wild 2 i mean breath of the wild is the highest selling zelda game of all time and then nintendo really wants to play close to the ear into the chest uh they were like maybe we'll rely on a lot on you know people who have played breath of the wild that word of mouth people who first you know got into the adventure of the legend of Zelda through breath of the wild and then they're gonna you know we don't really need to do a lot of promotion or a lot of you know um reveals because a lot of people are hyped for the game regardless because it is the sequel to the legend of zelda breath of the wild uh, I understand that perspective a little bit, but I disagree if that's going to be, you know, how they're going to do the whole thing in terms of uh, what the game is, gameplay, what's new to Breath of the Wild 2. That's what I want to know. Like, I want to know what's new. You don't really have to, like, get out there with story or anything like that. I already know Ganondorf is back. That's all the story I need. And that is a phone call. So, uh, with all things considered, uh, Breath of the Wild 2, I feel we have a good chance of seeing more of it close, uh, I would say, early next year. But that's my one fear that Breath of the Wild 2, do we really have to wait all the way to E3 next year again to um, get more information? Because, I mean, if that was the case, if that was the plan all the time, because I'm pretty sure the Nintendo had something, has something to show off but something went wrong internally and then they want to shift their plans up a little bit because you know they wouldn't have said like oh in the coming months into next year if the fact was always was you know reveal more information at the following e3 there was just like okay next year you know in one year next e3 and other stuff i mean uh but at the same time this is nintendo when it comes to them being transparent it's a little weird so we'll have to wait and see but i want to know what you guys think when it comes to the next time when we will see breath of the wild 2. leave your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below and be sure to like share and most probably subscribe to hmk for more zelda content every week i mean if nintendo's not gonna do it i'm gonna have to so until then this has been hmk i'll check you guys later